Um, I haven't been as nearly as productive as I feel I need to be. It's Saturday. The thing is, I have so many meetings and stuff on the weekdays scheduled um, that I, I, did, I really haven't been able to account for that in the work. There's a risk of a project being cancelled based on the things that come out in the next week or so. So I have to make a bunch of designs for that, a, a lot of work, and then a bunch of things behind schedule. And so right now I'm really just basically trying to manage my stakeholders and trying to keep that principle in mind of like, if you can't do any new marketing, how are you going to keep the ones that you do have? And I realized this is like, this is the most important question at this point in right now, like that is going to make all the difference. And I, and I really, I like, I, I have to, I have to gamble, I have to risk it and, and try and throw in all the work I can to keep the project that's like, you know, potentially getting canceled. Even if it, even if it means losing some sleep, I'm frankly a little bit concerned. And I'm not going to lie, it sucks. It sucks a lot because I'm in London and, and there's other things that I want to be doing. And uh, there's just so much going on in terms of meetings to have and people to speak to. I wanted to be, speak to new people when I was here, but that didn't, obviously wasn't, wasn't able to do that. Now, literally, it, all I can kind of think about is, is trying to handle the basically put out fires like I'm running around and trying to make everything work and um, like trying to put my bets on the right places so for example like looking at like unfortunately as much as I hate to do it I have to prioritize certain clients over others because some of them are more likely to pay me are more like do I try and keep the client who's not behind? Do I try and keep them happy because they're already not behind? I don't want to let it, you know, or try and fix it, but then put the other guy behind and then all the projects. So it's, it's, it's just a mess and there's no good, there's no great perfect answer. It's just one of the difficulties of like, you will at some point run into, so which is logistical nightmare. So, I mean, for an agency, it's kind of where fulfillment's going all wrong and things like that. For drop shipping, it's logistics, supply chain. It can, you know, you can have distribution become such a mess. For other things like what else? Um, like if you run a SaaS company, it's uh, production bugs. It's literally like customer support stuff. It, it like there's there's always these headaches in any in any business. I think it's such an illusion to, to believe that they don't exist. But yeah, I'm just figuring those out. Honestly, what I'm spending more time doing and not having much time to record. But yeah, I've had my, one, one thing I've noticed is like having an assistant is great if you have a lot of backlog stuff or like ongoing processes. So for example, I'm hiring, I can just throw that scheduling stuff to her and just like she'll sort things out. But when, when those things run out, when she runs out of tasks to do, I have to like, I have to dedicate time to think about what to set her to do. So having an assistant is great, but you, you do need a volume of work and you do need to spend time and allocate time figuring out what she's going to do because effectively you've rented uh, somebody's time. And so if you don't think about how you're allocating that carefully, you're going to be wasting your money. And I'm just, I'm just thinking about that as well. Like figuring out that part. Um, it's, it's definitely like, it's a consideration if you're considering hiring an assistant. And the thing is, the smaller your budget, the less autonomy you can afford effectively, right? So like, I cannot just like, I don't have a chief of staff. I like it's, there's, there are certain things which I, I simply cannot afford to like, like I cannot hand out to my assistant. She's not qualified and I cannot expect her to do it. Um, b based on like her salary and experience. So obviously if you can afford more, you can spend less of the time thinking about the admin tasks. Like what am I going to allocate to her, etc. So Honestly, that's been something that I've found myself struggling with where like on our dailies, I find myself hopping on and being like, okay, well, have you scheduled stuff? Great. I clean my email. Great. Posted stuff. Great. And then it's like, I don't know what to do next. And I know I'm definitely not utilizing kind of the maximum I can out of her getting the maximum value. I think she can really help with stuff like reach outs, managing meetings, stuff like that, maybe flights. But for the time being, while I'm concerned about fulfillment, I can't really do that. So that's definitely a big big struggle. So I, I think maybe I should think about what are the things you could do to help me fulfill better? So make client service better? Is there a way that I can get her involved on effectively the QA process? Something like that. The thing is though, she's also technically she's part-time. So 
I can't allocate her to any calls based on the time zone as well. So there's a lot of considerations I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Like, but I think the next big question I should ask myself is how can I get her in on the fulfillment side of things, not just the other adjacent biz dev hiring, whatever processes, because fulfillment is what's taking most of my time right now. So having extra hands on deck with that, is probably a good idea, but I literally don't feel like I have the breathing room to spend time there. I just have to go focus work on client stuff at the moment for the time being, especially because I only have one backend dev and he's also spread incredibly thin. So I'm just looking at a lot of problems right now and it's not great fun to be honest, but yeah. Also I have my theory test when I get back on Thursday, like I, I fly back on Wednesday and I've, I've done zero practice for that. And I'm frankly a little bit concerned because I, I haven't been doing that. So I think I might have to spend some time. Yeah. That's a little bit an extra headache to add on top of all this. Yeah. So I'm going to go back to work, see what I can do in the next hour or so. Cause I, I want to sleep incredibly late and then see if I can bash out some more stuff tomorrow.